Hi Libra, welcome to Psychic Consultants. My name is Agatha and this is your full year reading for 2016. I'm going to draw 12 cards representing each month, kind of a little bit broadly representing the month and I'll do that in three rows of four cards and then I will pull a card from the Tantric Dakini Oracle which is a new deck that I've got which is quite interesting and that will just give us a kind of theme card or a little bit of clarification or advice on the story that emerges so we shall go so starting off with the seven of swords the ace of pentacles the king of pentacles the eight of cups the star the four of swords the seven of cups and the five of wands the six of swords the Ten of Wands, the Ten of Swords in reverse, and the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. So this is quite interesting. Um, let's start at the beginning. So, starting the year with a very kind of indignant quite powerful uh warrior attitude you're just kind of like wow okay i'm going in so it could be that the part you know whether the past year was kind of like something you want to forget or something that was really quite strong it's that you're feeling like you need to really get out there and go for it and be a bit aggressive. And it's, I feel that the energy is that you're starting the year with a kind of attitude that you just want to like get out there and, and go for it. But um, it's a little bit kind of not authentic. It's as though either like you feel like you need to fight when you don't really need to fight. And yeah, that's kind of what I'm getting. It's that you feel like you're going to have to like fight your way through and be a bit kind of aggressive about it, but you don't need to. So all the energy is really great, but just don't be, you don't need to be defensive with it and you don't need to be aggressive with it and you don't need to kind of be, you know, because there's a chance that you could engage in some conflict if you don't kind of, if you kind of go in like a bull in a china shop and get a bit aggressive and throwing a weight around, the people tend to respond to that in the kind of way that you don't want to. And it's like, it's more like you just need to see the path ahead of you as clear so you don't need to battle your way through it. But that energy to kind of like go in and just get things done is a really great energy. But don't you don't need to fight if you don't need to. So that's a little bit of um, advice there. But... No matter what happens, I mean, I think this energy in this that you're going in with, it's going to very quickly give you some rewards because, yeah, we've got this Ace of Pentacles here where you're just feeling very fulfilled and abundant and it's though so, you're just given many gifts and I'm feeling like there's a lot, there's, there's just a lot of... Um, abundance all around you and it's like you have everything that you need it's just like okay I need this or here it is or I need that it's like you're kind of manifesting every which way everything that you need um and you've got yeah just a huge and money is coming in financial a lot of financial abundance because this ace I'm kind of pairing him up here with this king so it's like February March times so like and I'm feeling like this is you this king of pentacles so it's it's just that you've really got it going on in terms of finances um 
And it's like people are kind of throwing money at you for some reason, or you just seem seems to be that it's coming out of nowhere, or sudden, you know, you're just checking your bank balance and it's a lot higher than you thought it was going to be, and just things like that. So um, there's really good, positive, um, strong, abundant energy there, and you don't need to um, you don't need to start the year all all guns blazing and just really getting a bit aggressive. Um, but maybe it is that kind of, but that get up and go energy and get out there energy is going to create this, this abundance here in this. I'm seeing, you know, money. I'm, I'm feeling as though it's money. Um, and, and I'm feeling that there is going to be a bit of travel um, around April. Um... I feel like you're going to you're going to feel like you've got a lot of resources around you and it's like there may be some kind of trip that you've always wanted to go on um that you that you that you just kind of go off on a little bit of adventure um for um and this guy is kind of like going out on seeking this kind of missing cup, which isn't actually missing because there are eight cups here. But I think you know that it's like, you know, you kind of have everything, but you still want to go. I feel like there's just, there is something missing. It's like there's always there's been a part of you that just wants to do this thing and you're going to do it this year. Um, and I feel like it is some kind of trip somewhere. I mean, if you do have this kind of trip like something you know maybe you've always wanted to go to Machu Picchu or something or you've always wanted to go to Hawaii or I don't know um or some holiday or vacation that you've always wanted to take and you've never done it D do it this is a card to say you know do it um when you've got all this wealth around you take some risks because if you do do it I mean, the card that we have representing May here is the star. So it's like it lights up your world, whatever this kind of journey that you embark on. And it could be also could be a spiritual thing because you've got the moon in this card. It's kind of like a bit mystical, um, this kind of terrain. So it could just be that you maybe you just wanted to do, go do a course or, or um, learn something new which needn't necessarily be on the spiritual side, but it, it's just something something enriching that you've always wanted to do. So go on and say travel or learning, or it's like you always wanted to learn tango or, you know, so you, you do it, you just start those classes. Or there's a career thing that you want to do, but you need to do a bit of extra training. You'll just do it. And if it comes up, do it. Because what will happen is that you will, um, it will just be hugely fulfilling for you. And you'll enter into this like really abundant creative time. I think you'll just feel very creative and you'll feel very connected to the earth and, and, like as a human being you'll feel as though you are just really present in in the world and in your world and um and just feeling very fulfilled and shining it's like you find your your star you find your light to shine through this kind of taking this little bit of a risk here i think and then I feel as though that kind of energy ends and then in June we have the Four of Swords which is just the rest card so um, chilling out again taking things easy um, could I'm, I'm getting that it could be a bit of illness if you're not careful if you don't monitor your kind of output a bit it could it's like when this card comes up, if you don't take the decision to chill out yourself, it will kind of be made for you, so just be a bit careful with that. Oh, I don't always get that, but that kind of came up. Um, but yeah, just following on from the star, though, just kind of 
riding that wave and feeling quite relaxed. Um, any kind of relaxation that you can take during that time, just take it. Take it. Um, yep, yeah, just find your find your centre. I'm feeling I'm getting meditation with this card as well. So if you don't meditate, learn maybe learn to meditate. If you do meditate, really get into it. It's like I think around this period meditation's really gonna help you out and just a little bit of sitting and being still. And that moves on to around the July period with the Seven of Cups. And this is a really interesting card for me because it's just this guy looking at these seven cups full of all these different kind of things. And this like silhouetted shadow figure is this kind of you and then it's like these bright shiny golden cups full of things but they're all a bit kind of like yeah it's just like you don't really know what they are or what you want so and this is is a card of of clarity and it's just of dreams and illusions so it's like you're going to I feel as though you're going, there's a dream that you're going to grab hold of. Because I, for some reason I know it's connected to this, this five of wands. Which is a bit of a battle card. But I feel like there's going to be something that comes up. It's some kind of dream that people around you will think is a really ridiculous idea and again they're going to oppose it um and you'll just you know you, you for a while you just kind of be umming and ahhing over what you should do or whether you should kind of go for it and you're going to make a decision to go for it and then it's going to cause a lot of upset around you um and I do feel like this is from other people. It's just like you're kind of battling these other people. Um, but it leads on to this Six of Swords. So it's going to take you on a journey and you're going to... I'm feeling like you're going to go it alone, like you're going to be by yourself. But you will take that journey. And this is another travel thing again. So it's like um, you just want to take a risk. And I feel as though you're going to want to all this kind of um, conflict here. I feel this might be a bit of a relationship thing. It's like you get a little bit restless and you feel like there may be something else that you need and which kind of started here with this eight of cups and then you just kind of got you know you you went on the kind of journey and you felt really good and then you were you know it seemed all fine and then it kind of came back again but like this is the seven here it's like these seven cups here it's it's just that this eight and seven it's just like this suddenly there's something missing again and it's going to cause a lot of arguments and I think it's kind of like you do it deliberately like you create a bit of pro few problems and arguments in your relationships or in your relationship which gives you an excuse to like set sail for a different land and so I think but you might feel a bit rubbish about that um or unsure and a little bit kind of trapped it's like you're, you, you're going you're going towards a new thing but you can't really see you've got these kind of like swords in front of swords sorry I can't see the card some, some swords in front of you um, but you're going to go anyway and there's a little bit I'm feeling a little bit of stubbornness here but that it, it's you know you're going to go 
But I think quickly, then, suddenly, we've got these two tens here. So we have this ten of wands and then this ten of swords in reverse, which is in alignment with this wheel of fortune in reverse. So this is this kind of conflict in August time and then September, you maybe take some action and then October and then throughout the end of the year, these three cards I'm kind of putting together. So you've got these two tens, like a completion and then the Wheel of Fortune because these are both in reverse. So this is kind of like one whole kind of story here that's, that's starting. And it's that I think when you go it alone, you just cannot handle it. It's you need um, the support of, of people um, and when you don't get it, you really feel very burdened and not very, you know, you just can't see the wood for the trees. You can't see anything around you. You just can't, you can't maintain this. Um, and you, you very quickly get clarity and coupled with this ten of swords, it's just like it just then it's like you've got these ten ones, then they just take you out. And it is in reverse, so um it's like and I know why it's in reverse, and I'll tell you the story, because it's like the two tens, you get this this ten of wands and you're feeling a bit kind of overwhelmed. You don't do anything about it, you then get completely stabbed. You see these ten swords just completely stab you. It's like, okay, this really isn't working at all you get completely shot down and, and you're just exhausted kind of lying in a heap because you cannot do this you can't do life alone it's like you need these people that support you that might you know not always agree with you but that doesn't mean that you just kind of like you know, do whatever you want and I think you learn that lesson very quickly because it's just like this journey that you go on it doesn't end anywhere there's no kind of like thing that it's like you, it's almost as if you never really get there um you like want to explore these horizons but then very quickly you realize it just all becomes a bit too much of a burden and then you get taken out with this um ten of swords but because it's in reverse it's like you get taken out as soon as it gets taken out you realize where you're your strength is where the people that and it's people it's this these kind of it's like a community or a family or a partner that you've kind of run away from here in search of this kind of dream and this ten of swords as soon as they go in you realize and then when in reverse it's like they can all fall out so um and because this Wheel of Fortune is also in reverse, it's like you give in to your destiny and your fate. And that's how you lose these... <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> that's how you get rid of these swords. By surrendering to to the wheel of fortune which in reverse it doesn't really matter this is the great the great thing about the wheel of fortune is that it just keeps turning so it doesn't really matter if it's in reverse or not but it's just that to get clarification for this ten of swords in reverse it's that when you align yourself with your destiny and fate and you chill out and you surrender to it then these swords that you feel like and this is the end of the year so it's like november october november it just suddenly everything gets heavy very very heavy this heavy energy um but the only way to release that burden and you but you you don't go down easy like you really don't go down easy because this card the ten of swords it's just like you just need to put these down and you and you know it's it's not actually as bad as it seems it's just like you can carry them if you just do it in a better way or you just change your perspective but you don't and so you get taken out um, but then you realise that you just got to surrender to life and maybe it does feel a little bit against what your opinion is sometimes but it's, it's, it's kind of what you need sometimes destiny and fate gives us what we need I hear you know that 
um, Rolling Stones song, you, um, you don't always get what you want, but you might just get what you need. And I feel like that's what happens um, at the end of the year. And that's really good. It's just like a nice surrender. I'm going to um, take a card from this Dakini Oracle, Tantric Dakini Oracle, to um, give us a bit of clarification on that story. Oh gosh, these are really strange. Because then you, a bit of a nightmare. Okay, so this one's calling. This came for, this is a double, this just came in a, a, a reading before. Um, and it's within the Tantric Dakini Oracle, this is number 43. And it says, um, Mount Meru, centre of the universe. And I'm just going to have a look in the book just for clarification for that one. So, number... 43. Mount Meru, centre of the universe, bears the number 43 signifying the integration of the inner and outer worlds, the microcosm and the macrocosm. It signifies a desire to forsake worldly ambition for the spiritual path, disillusionment with worldly values and compromises, a re-evaluation of one's position, possibly leading to the desire to withdraw from society. So yeah, I feel like you're just going to be going on... See, it's interesting that it's mirrored in this Eight of Cups here. There's a kind of peak here. And it's that you you real Throughout the year, you'll feel this desire to kind of explore and just kind of like climb the mountain. And it's that there'll be a little bit of this... of um, A need to get some perspective... It's like just to rise above the clouds to get some perspective. And it's going it seems to be the kind of the theme, like with this eight of cups here and then the seven of cups and then these kind of like journeying um that you just want to kind of go on. And that's gonna be good, you know, you get the perspective, you rise above the clouds, but what you realise is that you can't go it alone and you need help and you need people around you. Um otherwise it just gets overwhelming. Um, and for all your adventures what you realise is that surrendering to to what's going on is just sometimes the easiest way but it doesn't mean don't go on the adventures it's just it's just don't forget don't forget what you have whilst you're exploring Okay, thank you very much for joining me for that. Um, if you would like a private reading for the year of your own, please email me. I will put my email address below. Otherwise, I will be uploading monthly readings for all of the signs. So if you would like those, please do subscribe and you will have access to them as soon as I've uploaded them. Um, otherwise, yeah, just have a great end of 2015. Have a brilliant 2016. Um, yeah, it looks like it's going to be interesting. Lots of kind of exploration. Um, but the people that you, the people that you, that love you are never going to leave you, you know, and really getting that, it's like there's, whoever, you can go off on all your adventures, but the people that love you are always going to love you, and, um, it's like you are afforded that, you've got the security around you that you can take a few risks and do a bit of exploration, I mean, physical or kind of like spiritual or emotional it just it's like you can you can go for it and um and you they'll always be there to go back to and fate will always and destiny will always keep turning okay so um yeah have a great holiday season and i will see you soon take care